Hello everyone, you're welcome again to my channel and today we'll be talking about visual scripting in Godot 4.2. For everyone that thinks that Godot uh, has removed visual scripting, I will show you the new way that we can be able to create uh, visual scripting inside Godot 4.2. There's a new version of Godot and uh, we have a uh, the ability to be able to create visual scripting inside here. So first, before you actually create this, you have to download the orchestrator and you go to this um, uh, website. So first you can go to www.vahera.com. I will put the, the full link in the description. You actually right click on the orchestrator release. You'll be able to go to this link and I'll advise that you download the Godot orchestrator stable plugin zip okay so you're going to download the zip file so if you download the other ones maybe for android for linux uh, for mac you will not be able to have uh, all the things you need in case you want to do something for linux but if you download this table it contains everything here all together that's the reason why it's actually 59.3 mb so once you download it you actually have um, the orchestrator file and you can be able to it will download as a zip file and you can be able to right click on it and extract it so once you extract it you actually have this add-on so you just copy this add-on and you go to your Godot file where you want to be able to uh, use the orchestrator right now we just have our 2d uh, 3d and the script okay so this script just uses the gd script so uh for us to be able to do that we'll have to right click on this res and we're going to open this in file manager so when we open it in file manager we can be able to copy and paste the add-on so it's copy this add-on uh, we just copy from the, the orchestrator website and once we do that we can be able to come in here so once we come in here it will ask us to restart our Godot 4.2 so once you restart once you restart it gives you this so now we have the orchestrator so orchestrator is um, the new plugin that we use for creating uh, visual scripting in Godot engine. So I'll be introducing you how to use this in this uh, video. So right here, I have a very simple scene, a very simple 3D scene. And I have a player here. The player, if you go into this place, you can be able to see that the player is um, actually a character body 3D. So right now, I'll just go to my level one and I'm going to right click to be able to create a script. So once you have this, you can be able to create any script you actually want. So you can right click the same way we'll create it in 3.5. So you can just go in here and attach script. Now, once you do that, it comes in here. It's usually at GD script. So if you, uh, if it's in GD script, you just turn into orchestrator. And I always like to put all my scripts in one particular folder. So I have my scene here. So let me see, I think I have a script here already. So I'll double click on it and I have, um, I'm going to make this just a player. So this is OS, O scripts. That's another name for the orchestrator. So all the scripts that the orchestrator, um, orchestrator plugin has, we call them the O script. So you can be able to click on open and you have this here and you can create the script. So the first thing we're going to be doing here is that by default, we already have an event graph. So we'll have the first graph we're going to be using. You can create multiple graphs that can contain different uh, codes that you'll be using. So here we want to be able to create a function. So we have a functions here and I will click here. So just like how we do it in a normal um, visual scripting in Godot, we can be able to just call here a process and I will use the process. You can also use the physics process here. So I'll get a process and I'm going to drop this here. So right here we'll have any script you actually create will be seen here while of uh, different things you can be able to create you have it here so but here is the main graph where you can be able to actually put in your things if you want to have more room here you can be able to click here and um snap this panel you can also be able to snap that panel too um you can just go down to components you can so you can actually have a more uh, view here okay so once you do this Right now, we want to be able to make this to be able to move because that's what we're doing right now. We want to be able to create our script so that we can be able to move forward, backwards, um, rotate. Also, we want to be able to move around here with using this, our character here. So the first thing I want to do, I'll click back here and I'm just going to um, 
drag this out and I'm going to put up branch. So we'll have branch, so we'll have a flow. So the branch is uh, the condition here, just like we had, used to have condition in the old uh, visual scripting in, blend, in, in, in Google. So you have the branch here, so that's a condition. So I can be able to drag this out here and put action and imputes action. So I have this here. So right now I wanna be able to use the up, UI up and this for it, for it to go up. So right now I'm not gonna drag any code out of here. I'm just gonna right click here and I'm going to go for translate. Let's see if translate is gonna work for us. So I'm gonna say call translate, okay? So once I do, um, I think I want to go local, uh, call translates, let's see. And I'm going to just drag this in here. So right now, if you go your 3D scene, you see that um, this is your, your Z axis, that's Z axis. So this negative Z will be going forward. So I'll just go back to my orchestrator and give it a minus 0 0.3. So let's see how fast that will be. Now I have been able to plan out everything already. So I have my camera here and everything here. If you want to know how I set up this kind of scene, you can go for my um, good visual scripting uh, series that I've been creating. Uh, it's almost done. So you can be able to actually watch how you can set up scenes like this. So I'll right click and I'll play the scene. So let's see what will happen here. So you can go forward. Okay, so that's working for us. So now I will go back here and I have this working, so but I think it's too fast. So I'm just going to make this 0 0.03. Uh, I think this is okay. Then I will get this down and I'll drag this out and I'll do another branch. And always remember, uh, don't drag any code out of here. All right. Uh, you can do that inside the old Visual Studio, but you can do it here. So you can just simply just right click and just uh, type translate and uh, do your local again and just drag this in here. Drag this in here. So, and this would be uh, minus, minus 0 0.03. So I'm going to have this and I'm going to tell it, um, let's drag this action, impute action. And the action is going to impute here is the down, um, UI down, that's a down arrow. So I will just uh, quickly test this out. So you can also be able to use, uh, uh, run, run the current scene to be able to play your game. So you can go forward or backwards. Okay. I think, uh, this didn't change. So let's see. This should be positive. Yep. But I think it's quite very slow. So I'm going to make it about uh, six. Let's make it uh, six, 0 0.06. So let's try this again. You can go forward or backwards. Forward. Backwards. Next thing I want to do is to make it to rotate. So to make it rotate, I'm just going to drag this out. So do a branch again. And this time around, I'm going to do something a bit different. So first I will just get my input uh, or action. You can just call it action, input action. And this would be um, the right. So it's going to be rotating toward the right. So I'm going to right click and get rotates. So I'm going to use um, call. So you have here call object local or call global rotate. So that's what we're going to use the uh, global rotate. So you just click on that and you can be able to drag this to here. So. Now, if you look at the 3D scene, you have the Y axis as the main axis, this axis. So because we want to rotate it on the Y axis. So it's going to be going this way or that way. So right now we are just going to our Y axis and we're going to make it just one. So because we want to rotate it on the Y axis and we want to be rotating about, let's start with uh, about, uh, let's see, um, 15 degrees and see how fast that will be for this particular scene. So just uh, play this and check it out. 
so it's quite very fast so we're gonna just go down a bit and i'll go for 0 0.3 and play that again so i have this okay i think it's yeah. very much better now so but i want it to be opposite so i'll do 0 0.05 0 0.03 0 0.07 i think i'll also use uh, a very small number here too seems like this works with a very uh, small number so it depends on the size of your scene um so i can just do that okay so i can do that okay so i have something like this all right so to finish up i will drag this down and get this out and that will also be a branch put this up here and the next thing I want to do is still to right click here. Just remember, you always have to right click and then you do your rotates. And get your call global rotate. Don't use the normal rotate here, global rotate. So it rotates uh, based on the global axis so that you know when the thing rotates, it will always move in the right direction when you press the up arrow. So I have here, um, 1 and 0 point minus 0 point 0.07 so i'm going to have here also one and i'm going to have 0 0.07 so it's be going the opposite direction so and you quickly just drag this out and go for action here and this action will not be this is right so this will definitely be left so we'll have the left all right, so we'll save that and we'll just go ahead to play this game. So we can go forward, backwards, you can turn around, move this way. Okay, we can move. So right now our our, our scene is, um, the colliders are not working. So that's not really the aim of this particular one. So we just want to be able to see how to work with our 3D scene inside um, Godot 4.21. All right, so uh, I think that's all for this. So if you want to be able to get to know more about this, subscribe to my channel, like my video, share with people who want to learn how to use Godot Visual Scripting in the new version of Godot 4.2.1 or even 4.2.2. It will actually work the same. We use the orchestrator right now. So uh, if you want to support me, also uh, go to each to get some of my uh, their free downloads that I have of examples of different uh, visual scripting projects that I have and also the ones that you can purchase to actually uh, uh, support what I'm doing here. So if you want more of these videos, you can be able to support me and also comment uh, on the kind of content you also want me to be able to create. But most importantly, I would love to get your feedback on this particular uh, video I've created so that if you want more of this, you know, put it on the comment so that I will know the next thing I'm going to be creating. All right, see you in the next video.